everyone and welcome back to My Fashion Cover Baby. Today I'm going to share with you three super easy, really exciting kids party recipes. If you follow this channel you'll know that Elena turned one on the 4th of July and I've been planning on doing this video for ages because I filmed these party snacks on the day of her birthday. So I'm finally getting around to sharing them with you. These went down really well at her party. The kids loved them, the adults loved them, they looked good. They tasted even better and they were super easy to make. So I'll share with you three simple kids party recipes. First of all there are my wrap popsicles, these can be either sweet or savoury. My snake sandwiches, you can make these as long and as elaborate as you like. The kids loved these and the adults did too. Finally my marshmallow lollies, anything on a popsicle stick seems to look and taste better and the kids absolutely love these. So starting with my wrap popsicles. Take a tortilla wrap of your choice. I used a flour wrap, but you can use a whole wheat wrap and fill your wrap with a filling of choice. I did some with some tuna, some green onion, a little bit of Greek yogurt. Did some with some cheese and some ham. You can also make these sweet with a good spread of some nut butter, presuming there are no allergic children at the party. Some chocolate spread, Nutella is delicious or a little bit of mashed banana and some cinnamon or some mashed banana and some honey assuming there aren't any babies under 12 months at the party. Roll up your wrap like you usually would into a sausage and then cut it into into segments of around um, an inch and a half each and then skewer it with a little cherry tomato on a cake pop stick and then your wrap. These look amazing when they're set out on the table and you could also display these in a cup or a glass as well. Moving on to the steak sandwich, this was the star of the show and it sat in the middle of our table with alongside our princess party cake. This was so easy to make, all you need is a cucumber and then some bread and sandwich fillings of your choice. With your cucumber you want to cut off the end that has the little knobbly bit and that's going to be your tail. About an inch and a half for the tail is perfect. And then you want to cut off the bit that's going to be the head and this is the nice round fat part of the cucumber and you want this one to be about three to four inches long. Once you've got your head you want to make a mouth so you want to cut a nice triangle into the front of your cucumber and then add a tongue with a little slither of gammon, some ham is perfect. To add some eyes to your snake I use cherry tomatoes on little cocktail sticks. I like the bit of the cherry tomato that had the stem in it with a little circle in it makes a perfect um, pupil of the eye so I used these to sit at the front, stuck a cocktail stick in and added that to the cucumber to make an amazing head. Now you're ready to make the body of your snake and this is made up of sandwiches. So I piled my sandwiches quite high with four or five layers of bread to make it nice and easy. Fill it with your filling of choice. I used a mixture of cheese and ham, some tuna, some chicken and then you want to use a cookie cutter of what, around the same width of your cucumber to cut through and make little circles. So you should get four circles out of each sort of slice of bread if you like. And then you want to pin them onto the cucumber and around into a snake-like shape um, using some cocktail sticks just to hold it all together. Then add your little tail to the end and you're done. Your snake sandwiches look amazing but actually didn't take you that much time or effort at all and your children are much more likely to eat some savoury snacks that way if they look pretty on the table rather than reaching straight for the chocolate. Finally on to dessert. These marshmallow sticks look really really good when they're set out in glasses or in cake pop stick holders. I think that anything on a stick looks better and kids just love eating these. Marshmallows are delicious and they're low in fat as well. All you have to do is take some cake pop, pop sticks or some skewers, although cake pop sticks don't have that spiky end so these are better for little kids. Skewer your little marshmallow into the end of your stick and then dip it in some melted chocolate. I use a mixture of dark milk and white. And then while the chocolate's still wet you want to dip it into sprinkles of your choice. I used a combination of chopped mixed nuts, assuming you don't have any allergic children at your party some freeze dried strawberry pieces, some fun fetti sprinkles and some chocolate sprinkles and then arrange them in a glass or I also use a cake pop holder. Arrange these around looking pretty and dot them around your kids party space. They look like decorations as well as fun things to eat. I hope you enjoyed these three easy kids party ideas. If you would like to see more let me know in the comments below and I hope you have a great kids birthday party. See you in the next one. Bye!